Hey everybody, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com and today I want to look at an acoustic guitar mic shootout. Now what we did a couple weeks ago, I was uh, running another workshop, a recording and mixing workshop in Nashville with my buddy Joe Gilder over at HomeStudioCorner.com and it's called the Simply Recording Academy and we were wrapping up a little bit earlier one of the two days and some of the students said, hey, can we play around with some different acoustic guitar miking concepts? The band we had tracked had no acoustic guitar. It was electric guitar, bass, brass, keys, vocals, drums, about everything else. So yeah, we said, yeah, let's take some time and we'll show you some uh, miking techniques of acoustic guitar that we like to use. In that process, we had a bunch of different mics available to us in the studio, and I thought it'd be fun to throw up three different mics in three different price ranges and really highlight um, just how different they can sound and just how usable all three can be. What we ended up miking up was an acoustic guitar being finger-picked by one of the students, and uh, he played the same pass three different times, and we miked... Um, the acoustic guitar in front of the guitar, maybe about a foot and a half, two feet away, pointed at the sound hole, but angled in a little bit towards the fretboard, maybe pointing at the 12th fret. That was the standard positioning for all three mics. The mics we used were an AKG 414, which over here you can see is running about $1,000 US at Sweetwater right now. That was the first mic we used. Second mic was a Shure KSM 141 which is a small diaphragm pencil condenser for less than half the price, $399. Uh, and then the third one was a Shure SM57, which is a dynamic microphone. So the first two were condensers. This is a dynamic, and it's $100 US. So $1,000, less than half the price at $400, and one-tenth of the price at $100. So these were the three that we used. And we just one by one tracked all three, and then I quickly gain matched to make sure that no one track was a little bit louder than the other, so that we could just listen and sort of talk about what we heard. The goal was to just describe what we heard. So take a listen to a little bit of each mic, and we'll debrief real quickly. Here is the AKG 414. This is the $1,000 microphone. KSM-141. SM-57. Very interesting. Now, I don't know about you. I don't know if I can tell that this one sounds 10 times better than this one. Take a listen. Yeah, definitely doesn't sound 10 times better. What is my point? Well, my point is that we tend to put way too much emphasis on price, way too much emphasis. It's, it's as if the price is somehow a measure or calibration of the quality of the microphone and as if it's a steady curve up. So the more expensive you get, the more quality the microphone gets and it's a straight line, which is never true. A couple of things to consider. One is uh, it doesn't really matter how much a mic costs. It matters if it's the right mic for the job. In this case, you may actually prefer the AKG 414, and that's perfectly fine. That's a great mic. We used it for almost everything in the studio that day. Um, it sounds a little fuller, a little fuller body than, say, the KSM 141, right? So this is a little beefier. Versus...
they just have a different tone, two different types of dyna- uh, condenser microphones, excuse me. And then both of those sound very different than the 57. Actually, the, the, both of the Shure sound pretty darn similar, and one's a condenser, one's a dynamic, one's $400, one's $100. It, a lot of the guys preferred the KSM-141 over the AKG, so uh, that's telling. And, and a lot of people liked the 57 just as much as the 141, so they preferred both of these to the more expensive one. Now, I'm not trying to make a dumb point to say that you should never use an AKG 414. What I'm trying to make a point is, is that microphone shootouts, to me, are really pointless unless they are to enlighten us and remind us that uh, there is no perfect mic for all jobs. There is just the right mic for the right job. And a lot of times, you have to use the mics that you have and then determine which of those mics is the right mic for the job. There is no all-around killer acoustic guitar mic that will work on all situations. For example, this is a finger picking style, you know, acoustic sound. This isn't a guitar being strummed with a pick, so it's going to sound different. Maybe the 414 would have sounded better on a strummed guitar, I don't know. But either way, it also reveals to us that a $99 dynamic microphone can sound excellent on a very nice acoustic guitar being played very well and it could be the perfect sound for your track, especially since we don't know what these will sound like in a mix. This is just a solo track. What matters is, will this cut through nicely in a mix? So I just wanted to highlight in that experience, which we gave to the guys, which was take a listen to $1,400, $100. And really, all three of these were great options. They're all equally good in my mind. They're just different. And I hate to break it to people, but sometimes... Different mics just sound different, and sometimes more expensive doesn't mean a better sound. Couple key differences are the 414 has a whole bunch of other things that the other mics don't have, which is a bunch of different polar patterns. It can go all the way omni, it can go cardioid, it can do uh, figure of eight. It's got a bunch of different uses that the other mics don't have. The 141 has some pads and bass roll offs, which is nice, that the 57 has none of those. No pad, no bass roll off only one polar pattern, so it's a more limited mic in terms of its feature set. But when we're talking about pure sound, uh, sound quality, you really just have to experiment and you might be surprised at what mic will get the job done. Hope that helps you guys. Maybe that gives you something to think about. Uh, Maybe you've done similar shootouts yourself, and I'm sure they've been a lot more technical and more scientific than mine. But please leave a comment on the blog. Let me know your thoughts, which mic you preferred. Just want you guys to keep an open mind. Never feel bad about a $100 microphone. Definitely don't feel bad about a $1,000 microphone. Use what you got. This is Graham from TheRecordingRevolution.com signing off. We'll see you on another video soon.